All right, so we have about two minutes until the start of NAB, and Black Magic is right in sight. And so we're going to run straight there and check out the new cameras. We got to run to Black Magic. Got to try out the cameras. Good, man. How's Good it going? Good to see you. I figured I might see you. Oh, it, as soon as I saw this was the first one, I was like, got to run. There it is. How do you say this name? Is it Pixis? Pixies? Pixis. I guess it's going to be. Pixis. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate the shorter name at least this time. Yeah. All right, so welcome everybody to NAB. And right behind me is the brand new Blackmagic. Uh, I almost said pocket because that just rolls off the tongue. But it's the Blackmagic Pixis. Pixies. 6K. And it truly is the... 6K full frame in a new type of body style that we want. I wasn't able to take it off of the tripod, but they did mention how light it actually is. I believe it comes in like two and a half pounds or something, but it looks the exact size that I was hoping it was for. Anyone who has ever held like the FX6, uh, it looks a little bit longer than a Komodo. Brandon Washington's here, kind of size comparison right there. So I'm here with Brandon Washington, and I just wanted to ask you as a red owner what your thoughts were on the Pixis 6K or the Ursa Cine? First impressions? Uh, and the body is right on yeah. the on the Pixis, for sure. I think that finally having that body style design, as someone who has a very modular setup, that's exactly what we've been waiting for from Blackmagic. Now it's more of like, how are we going to be able to kit it out and accessorize it a little bit? That's really important because with a box design like that, like there's no way to actually hold it like from the side. So we're going to need some type of like rosette handle on there. But the entire left side is a screen. So like how our cage manufacturer is going to work around that and still be able to actually use the camera. When it has the three different plate ex options. So one on the right side on the right is side. a rosette. Yeah. yeah, but I like having two handles, one on each side oh, for stability. Okay. But if your monitor and all of your buttons are there, this could be a little bit of an issue. So. Or I'm curious that if you're holding it like even just with the right, like I'm fine holding it under. Will your palm touch that screen and have any interfaces? So Possibly. it'll be interesting. It's definitely a great first step. It's a Gen One for this uh, like this design. I'm excited to see. What and it's not plastic it. anymore, so at and least it's only three grand. What can you? What can I mean? Really, True. can you argue with that? There are a couple of things that I know a lot of people were asking for that I did follow up with. It doesn't seem like the lens mount is interchangeable. Now we all see those four screws at the front, so it's one of those things where it might be interchangeable technically, but you can't purchase the other mounts, at least as of right now, uh, by themselves. So it is locked into those three different mounting options. The screen on the side, uh, it is something where the viewing angles weren't absolutely incredible, if I'm being honest. When I wasn't viewing it straight on, um, I was seeing kind of like the, you know, when you stand off to the side of a TV, it almost like looks a little like crunchy and contrasty, um, but it was okay. Uh, but I did ask if we use the video assist or if there's any other current monitors out that can change the camera's functionality so that you don't have to interface with the side monitor. And at least they told me that is not the case right now. I use the Bluetooth Plus app for my pocket cameras. All that type of stuff you can still do. So you can start, record, stop. You can adjust settings through anything that you could do with the Bluetooth feature. But there is no like, oh, if I plug in the Blackmagic video assist, I have all the same cameras camera controls that I would on the side monitor, which that I'm a little sad about. I hope they update that at some point so it has proper uh, camera control. But for now, this is the first look at the Pixis 6K, and I'm impressed. I honestly think it's something that I could be selling my 6K Pro for, uh, especially if I can find a internal ND uh, mount accessory to kind of solve that problem. The batteries seem great. You can get the larger capacity ones, and I actually really like that it's locking SDI over HDMI, so it kind of gets back to that Pro ports. But I'm going to be here all week, so let me know down in the comments below what other questions you guys have. Later today is my interview with Black Magic, so I'll be following up with even more questions that you all asked me. So here's the first look. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to get subscribed. We'll see you in the next video.